Hello friends, today's story is Crown and O to the Fresh Cut, written by Derek Barnes and illustrated by Gordon C. James. Let's get started friends. Crown and O to the Fresh Cut. When it's your turn in the chair, you stand at attention and forget about who you were when you walked through that door. You came in as a lump of clay, a blank canvas, a slab of marble. But when my man is done with you, they'll want to post you up in a museum. That's my word. He'll drape you like royalty with a cape to keep the fine hairs off your neck and your princely robes. It's amazing what a tight fade, high-low ball does for your confidence. Dark Caesar. Who knows? You might just smash the geography exam tomorrow and rearrange the entire principles on a roll. A fresh cut does something to your brain, right? It hooks you up intellectually. You're a star, a brilliant blazing star. Not the kind that you'll find on a sidewalk in Hollywood, nope. They're going to have to wear shades when they look up to you to catch your shine. He'll lean you back in the chair, dab that cool shaving cream on your forehead, and then crap a flawless line with that razor. Slow, steady, surgical. It frames your swagger. The cute girl in the class across the way won't be able to keep her pretty eyes off of you. Her friends will giggle and whisper, girl, he is so fine. Yeah, that's what they'll say. The whole school will be seasick from the rows and rows of ripples. You'll have more waves on your head than the Atlantic Ocean. Shout out to my do-rag and patience. There's a dude to the left of you with a fox hawk, deep part skin fade. He looks presidential. Maybe he's the CEO of a tech company that manufactures cool. He's a boss. That's how important he looks. Dude to the right of you looks majestic. There are thousands of black angels waiting to guide and protect him. As soon as he steps foot out that door, that's how important he looks. There's a dude standing in the mirror that can't get over the masterful designs crafted on the side of his dome. Everywhere he goes, people will ask for his autograph. He looks that fresh. He looks like he owns a few acres of lands on Saturn. Maybe there's a river named after him on Mars. He looks that important. There are two dudes, one with locks, the other with cornrows, and a lady with a butterscotch complexion and all they want is a shape up, tapered size, a trim, and a crisp but subtle line. And sometimes in life, this all you ever need, a crisp but subtle line. When your barber is done, you'll feel like a million dollars and some change. When his fingertips hit you with that apple green alcohol or that witch hazel, it'll sting, but not like the scorpion or hornet, more like an electric stamp of approval. And when you see the cut yourself in that handheld mirror, you'll smile, a really big smile. That's the you that you love the most. That's the you that wins everything. That's the gold medal you. Every person in the shop will rise to their feet and give you a round of applause for being so fly. Not really, but they'll look like they'll want to. You'll see it in their eyes. It's the look your English teacher gives you when she hands you your last test with a bright red 97 slapped on it. It's how your mother looks at you before she calls you beautiful. Flowers are beautiful. Sunrises are beautiful. Being viewed in your mother's eyes as someone that matters. Now that's beautiful and you'll take it. You don't mind at all. Finally, he'll remove your cape, then swipe you down with a brush made from a golden horse tail. You'll put the money in his hand without even expecting change back. Tip that man, tip that man. It was worth it. It always is. 
You know why? Because you'll leave out of the shop every single time feeling the exact same way. Magnificent, flawless, like royalty. Hello, world. Ooh. ooh, ooh. The end. What a lovely, lovely, lovely story. Until next time, friends, don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy reading.